Close for the evening. You'll see a lot of me tonight for your first comedian of the night. Please put your hands together for Derek Defoe. Hey, thank you, C-Bass. Hey, how's it going at the bar over there? Yeah. Y'all want to come, like, sit over here or any shit like that? I know that's where the alcohol is, but you can get another drink. It's just better if you're closer. I feel more comfortable. You might uh, feel something, too. We'll find out. Cool. Uh. Well, I have two love languages, physical touch and quality time. Just please touch me for a really long time. Yeah. It does not make sense that I'm very autistic and my favorite kind of porn has lots of eye contact. Yeah. Huh. I went on a date with a girl last week, believe it or not. I said, you look really beautiful. She said, you look all right. I said, what? She said, well, you look like you just lost the Vietnam War wearing that shirt, right? You look like a coat hanger with a shirt on a dude dressed like a lesbian kindergarten teacher. You got hair like a dirty Q-tip, you talking dandelion. You look like if Napoleon Dynamite transitioned twice. Stop. What, are you going to go rob a house with Joe Pesci, you wet bandit? You look like Egon Spangler from Ghostbusters. Nerdy ass motherfucker. <laughs> You got a voice like Michael Sarah, Kermit the Frog, and Jordan Peterson. Had a baby! Ah, I paid for dinner, I took that lady home, and I fucked her like a gentleman. Yeah. Hell yeah, missionary position only if you roast me that hard on the first date. Won't give you the good dick till the second date. That was the rules. That is the rules I made. Ha. Ha. I think that we should rebrand explosive diarrhea on the roadway as asphalt. What do you think? Yeah, maybe we'll be able to fill some of those potholes over there in Austin. You know, anyway. Yeah, I, I do like Texas a lot. Warm, welcoming people. Thank you all for being cool people, being from Texas. Fucking love everyone from Texas. Uh, one thing I kind of take issue with is the roads around here. Fucking crazy as hell. Someone... Like, someone who built those roads took the idea that there's plenty of space in Texas way too seriously. Like, we don't need to be adding lanes for shit. I'm, I'm worried to be we're driving in the right or left lane. Don't know if I'm going to get sucked off on one of those U-turn things. Yeah, but, I, I, you know, I did learn a little Texas history since I got here, since Seabass mentioned it, which is that the guy who designed the Texas road system was schizophrenic. I get it. It, it, it's crazy out there. Anyways, I'll, I'll fucking get, get off that subject if you want to talk about it. Just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> I, uh, uh, there's a commotion in the oyster bar. Everyone remained clam. No one moved a muscle. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Kim Jong-un has been telling the people of North Korea for decades that he can't poop. I think he's full of shit. <laughs> How about shit? Where'd he put all of it? That guy. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was going to plant salvia in my psychedelic garden. Didn't have that mushroom. Didn't have it. <laughs> cool. Uh, you guys, you guys, all you guys, you like PB&J? Let me hear if you like PB&J. Hell yeah. I love PB&J. Three letters for a Saturday night. That's pizza, beer, and jerk and all. <laughs> They say that school prepares you for things later in life, but they don't tell you just how early they get started. Take the alphabet, for instance. H-I-J-K, alimony, P, oh my God. All right, uh, no one divorced in here, that's fine. Uh, I won't talk about that. A, <laughs> no, I, I've, uh, I've only ever had one girlfriend. Speaking of girlfriends, I masturbate a lot. Uh, we, uh, yeah, I, I turned off bri private browsing about a year ago while I was, uh, you know, looking for porn. And I gotta say, I recommend it. I figured I've been jerking off more than half my life. It's time to just relax and enjoy myself about it. Like, I don't give a fuck if the Fed knows what kind of norm core shit I'm into. Eye contact, really? Yeah, hell yeah. Eye contact, please. Physical touch. Please be looking over here. I like that eye contact. You guys, yeah, okay, get me thick, that's good. <laughs> All right, is uh, you guys, you guys know Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars, of course, but I think something that we learned that night is don't mess with the Fresh Prince, am I right? Someone agree with me, <laughs> yeah. 
because he'll leave fresh prints on your face. Oh, I mean, we all knew snitches get stitches, but we didn't know that Hitch be dishing stitches to bitches, now did we? <laughs> I mean, Will Smith starred in Collateral Beauty, but we didn't know he was gonna smack down and protect that community booty, am I right? Fucking people at the bar not looking for you. I'm doing my best shit right now. Some of you better get the fuck over here, sit down, enjoy the jokes. I'm not, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk my ass. I'm not gonna do any material for this shit. Like, fucking, that was three solid lines right in a row. I'm about, I'm, shit, I mean, I never shot up a school, but I, I fit the profile, you know? I, God damn it. I started substitute teaching a couple months ago. Yeah. But yeah, God damn it. I started substitute teaching a couple months I guess that, yeah, I'm not, I don't have a gun. Don't own one. It's fine. Just relax. It's cool. Yeah, but, yeah, but God damn it. Substitute teaching made me want to buy one for fucking sure. I mean, yeah. But, you know, no, no need to cheer for that. I do it for the money. Yeah. Uh, it's a fun job, but it can be very difficult sometimes. That first day, fucking terrible. Very, very hard. The kids wouldn't shut up for anything. Telling me to suck their dick to my face. And I was like, is that really what you want, Carlos? Is, is that... With everything that's in the news? I fit the profile. <laughs> Don't even... All right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but, you know, I got that class to be quiet in the last period of the... Last period of the day by accidentally dropping an F-bomb on him. At least they shut the fuck up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, it was tough, but they asked me not to go back to that school. Which is fine, because I didn't want to go back to that shitty fucking school anyways. Alright, well, y'all don't know about Benichek, that's fine. It's a, <laughs> yeah, you know what's up with Benichek. Oh, I got a little turd. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, all right, cool, cool. Uh, you know, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars, and I think something that we all learned that night is don't mess with the Fresh Prince, right? Because he'll leave Fresh Prince on your face, whip his hair back and forth. He whipped that hand back and forth. Yeah, back, back again. Well, not back to the Oscars, bitch. All right, well, those jokes used to be my greatest hits, but people don't like them anymore, I guess. That's fine. I, uh, yeah, I'll live with it. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, Texas is a very individual place. All kinds of unique names for things. Like, out in California, where I once lived, once upon a time ago, you drive drunk, you get a DUI. Out here in Texas, they call it a DWI. Because it's twice as bad. Boom, motherfucker. Gotcha. It's all good. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hmm. Who out there likes fucking... Oh, a bunch of fucking virgins out there. A bunch of fucking virgins or a bunch of liars. I don't give a fuck. You bunch of fucking assholes. Jesus Christ. It's like, yeah, you guys have no cause not to be cheering. I popped my cherry when I was 26. Fuck you. I'm 29 now. You guys better be fucking. If you're not fucking, you fucking up. <laughs> I'm about to, yeah, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut this shit early. Go to the strip club or some shit, you know. Oh, fuck. Well, yeah, I, I did get started a bit late, and in case you've been wondering if it's been a non-stop fuck fest for the last three years, it has not. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I was an in-cell once upon a time, and now I'm an out-cell, which is that I've uh, fucked, but I don't fuck a lot. You know, I, uh, there have been a few moments since I, uh, since I lost my V-card that I have not been an in-cell, but th they're far and in between. Hey, how's it going, you guys? Y'all having a good day? You ready for some comedy? Well, uh, you're here to get drunk. Well, that's cool. Why don't you get drunk over here once you get your drinks from the bar? We're going to have a great fucking time. You're looking hot as hell, by the way. All of you. Jesus Christ. I'm about to... Oh, wow. Yeah, hell yeah, red shorts. What's going on? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you, your, your bag looks like a, a, a banana swallowed a suitcase. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Her bag, whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, and, and, and my face uh, screams sexual desperation. That's cool. Uh, hmm. All right, well, I was talking about fucking. Right, all right, well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't get me out. I'm like, I'm not like a hound dog and a pork chop. About to fuck it right up. I gotta, is that? So, I, yeah, I'll tell you about one of the, the first time I nutted with a woman. Uh, all the times I've been with a woman before, 
is, uh, I, you know, like I got gotten in the bedroom and everything, and well, the first one, she started going way too fast. I realized that I could get a little scared if a girl goes a little too quick, like I needed to ease into it. I might be the only man who requires foreplay in the entire world. But anyways, but uh, the, the first couple women that I was with, like I, I ate their pussy, made them come, you know, used my fingers and everything, had a good time, and then they just sort of rolled over and went to sleep, not tapping them on the shoulder like, well, what about me? And I, I in the morning, babe. And then nothing happened, but it's fine, you know. I'm not bitter, but you learn, you know. But the first woman I ever nutted with was a Czech girl in Dublin, Ireland. It was fantastic. She told me later she decided she wanted to fuck me when she saw me at breakfast, which was a big win. But uh, anyways, we'll keep on going. Is that all right? So so we were we we were fucking for a good long time, and I'm not trying to you know pump myself up here. I just think that my dick told my brain, we've been waiting a long time for this shit, we're gonna make it last. And I, I'm, not, I'm not lying to you when I'm saying that we were fucking for about two and a half hours. And I'll say that there's a difference between masturbating and fucking. When you're masturbating, fellas, you're trying to coax the cum out of you, and when you're fucking, the cum is trying to get out of you. You sometimes gotta try and keep it in. Like, all those dumb little sperm heads banging their heads against the valves trying to get out. Anyways. Uh, so, so we were fucking for a long time. She was starting to get tired. You might not believe this, but I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna keep going. And she was starting to get tired. She's like, oh, I might have to go to sleep. And, and like, but let's finish you off first. Like, thank you so much for instead of not just going to sleep right away, telling me. And so she got on top of me, all kinds of spit in her hand. She was jerking me off, looking at me. They like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then finally I came. Oh, and it got got in both of our hair. Seriously, I, could, I did not know it was possible to come that hard. But whenever I get a long-term girlfriend, I'm going to put a gong on the headboard. So bang, bang, but see if we can... Anyways, I thought that was funny, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm just talking a little too fast. I'm excited. There's all kinds of energy in here. A lot of hot women. There's a, yeah, any of that. But don't worry about me. I'm very non-threatening. I'm a jello man. I was bullied by my mom. That's how you know I don't get pussy. It's like... <laughs> Like fucking weak ass dependent. My, my mom's a very strong woman. Hey, sweetie, what's your name over there? Oh, you don't have to tell me. That's fine. I'll keep going. And uh, we got a. <laughs> I got jokes. That's cool. <laughs> I could be silly. <laughs> All right. Um, huh. Have you have you heard the one about the baby with AIDS? Never gets old. That baby. Like, but, and they say that you shouldn't punch down in comedy. I just punched the shit out of that baby. Anyways, that's enough of that. I'll bring you a couple jokes from the streets that you can pass around at the water cooler. Why not? What's worse than ants in your pants? Definitely uncles. Oh, too real, too close. Oh, no. Oh, oh. What do you call it when Batman doesn't show up for church? That's a Christian Bale right there. Uh, fucking, <laughs> there he is. Uh, uh, uh. And my very favorite is uh, I have a cousin who opened up shop as a moil. He has a special on circumcisions, but trust me, it's a ripoff. Don't get the two for one. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you felt that. You're touching your dick right now. You're like, oh, shit, that, that felt like a... No, you were. <laughs> no, no. I, oh, I thought you were grabbing your dick because you're scared. Because every time I, I... Every time I fucking... Every time I, I tell that joke, I feel a little twinge in my crotch, too. It's like, ah. <laughs> that fucking hurt. All right, cool, cool. Here we go. Yeah. Well, I told you all about substitute teaching. I uh, haven't told you about valet parking, but there's nothing funny about that. It just sucks. And, uh, I'm about to about to get a job at a solar company. Give it up for me. Right. Yeah. Ah. Gonna be uh, gonna be telling people that they need to cut down their trees so that we can get enough sun on their roof to save the planet. Sounds good. I got you back there. It's cool. Uh, all right, well, uh, I was going to tell you the Will Smith shit at the end, but I got all excited and, bah, and told you early. <laughs> yeah. Um, here, let's see. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a couple more little one-liners here. Is, uh, well, they say that a ploy is like a trick you play on someone. What's employment then? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
That's a dumb one. Is, uh, <laughs> and if unemployment is so bad, why are so many people thrilled to be collecting it? Equally stupid and disrespectful. I get it. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, you guys. Well, you guys have really been amazing. You guys give it up for the 685 Backyard. Tip your bartenders. Give it up for your host, Seabass Guitar. Give it up for your other comedians that you're going to be seeing tonight, and especially yourselves. Thank you. My name is Derek Dimple. Have a good night. Keep it going for Derek, ladies and gentlemen.